In this section, we will see the use of host.json file. Host.json file is a configuration file containing the values that affect all the functions of a function app. You can imagine this file as a global configuration file that we need to set the configuration for Azure functions. Examples like if we want to set the version of Azure function, then we can set that value in host.json file. If we want to set the timeout value of each Azure function, then also we can use the host.json file. Host.json file can have different things to set up like logging or function timeout version of Azure function and there are a lot more. Schema of host.json file is different for 1.x and 2.x version. For new project, try to use latest and stable version of Azure function. If we see our previously created project, then this is the host.json file. As of now, it has set the version 2.0 as we are using the .NET Core 2.0 version of Azure function. If you go to Google and search host.json in Azure function, then you will see that there is different URL for 2.x and 1.x as the schema is different for both. If you go here, there is a sample host.json file where you can see the different key values to set up the Azure functions. You can set the logging configuration, help monitor, function timeout, version of Azure function. So suppose if I, I want to set the function timeout value in my Azure function, that I can do like this function timeout 5 minute is the default timeout of Azure function consumption plan you can increase up to 10 minute which is the maximum time for Azure function in consumption plan so this is how you can set the configuration values for your function app in the next video we will see what is the use of local.settings.json file